Hey guys, welcome back to Clover Knows Pets. I'm Clover, this is Pumpkin, and today I'm going to be saying a few things you might not know about Pumpkin the Leopard Gecko. Alright, so Pumpkin is actually our only rescue leopard gecko. Our other leopard gecko was bought from PetSmart, and I would never recommend buying from PetStart at the time... PetSmart. Sorry, at the time I was very uneducated and I did not know almost anything about um, their reptile keeping and where they get their animals from and the stuff they sell or any of that. I'm not going to get into it today. Just don't buy from Petco, PetSmart, whatever those chain pet stores are. Alright, so Pumpkin we rescued from a person who literally had her in this tiny little cage here and I'm currently using it for crickets actually um, for my frogs uh, but here's just a quick size comparison for you it's it's small yeah fair enough um, and so the woman actually gave her to us in a Petco box so we're pretty sure he got him from Petco and also that container came from Petco that is the legitimate container she gave saying this is what he was in so there's that um, pretty much he was kept on Kelsey sand which is even worse than paper towel or bare bottom he had no heat was given a bottle cap of water very o underweight and fed only mealworms and he was living in that thing, with no hides, in the middle of a very active area. So yeah. Anyways, Pumpkin is about a year and a half old now. Um, we got him when he was six months, so we've had him for about a year. And of course, the six months is only estimate due to um, how much he was eating, and his, what he looked like, and his size stuff like that um and also just they said he was around he was i think they said five to seven months and something like that so we estimated six pumpkin currently lives in a 40 gallon tank and this is a naturalistic tank it's actually right behind me there um it's quite large it's 36 by 18 by 18 um, so it is large enough for an adult. The minimum size tank that you want for a leopard gecko is a 20 gallon. His is a 40, so we're good for his whole life. It currently has things like lots of fake plants, obviously a water dish, lots of hides, and we have cork hides. We have just like acrylic fake hides. Um, we have, what else do we have? We have... Um, plastic hides, we have lots of different kinds of wood, not only cork hides in there, slate hides, all that stuff, perfect for him to climb on and climb in. Um, yeah, pumpkin is, at least we don't actually know genetics because he has not been DNA tested, but we are pretty sure he is a hypo or a super hypo as you'd call him because um, he has no spots on his back. The reason I say I can't confirm that, because that's normally anything cons who any gecko who has no spots on their back is considered a super hypo, so no matter what he is considered that, is because the fact that when he was little, when we first got him, of course normally all geckos when they're little, even super hypos and hypomorphs, are going to have the stripes, but when we got him, he not only had stripes, but he had lots of speckles all over his back, just like he does on his tail. So we're not sure how that was there, and now it's not, because it doesn't normally happen that way, but yeah, now he only has some slight colorations, but they're definitely not distinguishable enough to be considered a normal. So yeah, that's Pumpkin. He's also underweight a bit, but um, that's being handled with and taken care of. And yeah, Pumpkin the Leopard Gecko. See you next time.